All right, we are the last panel, and we are going to attempt to get everyone out of here on time. Uh, if we could all sit down. Our panel is affirming the rights of parents to choose their children's education and the rights of both childhood and motherhood. I am not going to speak much immediately about the topic of the t uh, panel. I'm going to limit my time. I only want to talk a little bit about the opportunity we have here together. I've been to most of the transatlantic summits. Uh, I've been blessed to get to know Lola Velarde. And I just want to say that the opportunity that we have to meet one another, to get to know one another, and to build relationships of trust, as I've seen the World Congress of Families in country after country, people coming together, learning from one another, passing legislation, what is most important to me is that we now know who to call when we need something. And the first person that I call when I know that there's something very important that can get done, it's Lola Lavalardi. So I want everyone to give her another round of applause. Uh, the, the most beautiful thing is how much you do behind the scenes, Lola. So again, God bless you. Also, Jose Antonio Cast uh, has done an excellent job. I don't know that the political network for values will be able to retain that much leadership because it seems like whoever you have as president ends up becoming uh, the president or prime minister of a country. So we'll see. Our first speaker is not Eduardo Verastegui. Uh, Eduardo was not able to make it. Uh, I know I look nothing like Eduardo. Uh, but we should all be praying for him as he's doing what he's doing in Mexico, uh, uh, entering the political fray. He's done so much uh, on, it, on the entertainment area. And uh, I, I will say, if you, if you have not seen The Sound of Freedom, I encourage you all to go and see it. It's directly on the topic of the rights of children, and it has... <clears throat> it has transformed people's minds on what's going on right now with human trafficking. 